1200 years ago, in 1606, the Mughal Emperor Jahangir tried to force Guru Arjan Dev Ji to change Gurbani. Guruji refused, and they were tortured on a tatti tavi, a hot plate, and had hot sand poured upon them. Though they were being burnt, Guruji accepted God's will as sweet and remained absorbed in meditation until their Shahidi. This is why they are called Shahida de Sirtaj, the crown of the martyrs. But the story doesn't end there. How did the Sikhs remember this terrible torture and Shahidi of Guru Arjan Dev Ji? By giving out sweet cold drinks in the hot summer. In June, every year, Sikhs mark Guru Ji Shahidi by turning negativity to positivity, turning an attack upon us into an act of service for others, from being burnt into providing cold drinks for everybody. This is accepting God's will as sweet, not being a victim, but having true optimism and a positive mentality. This is Jardi Kala. Arjan Dev Ji was at such an avastha. Even when they were being burnt on that hot plate, on that tati tavi, they still felt, Tere pro se pyare, I'm still sitting in the faith of your love, Wahidu. He mere akal purk sache paadsha, Main is tati tavi te baat ke vi, Main hun vi keh rahe aaya ke tu meri maa aaya, Tu meri maata aaya, tu mera pita aaya hai akal purk vai guru ji, मेरी चमड़ी साड़ गई या मेरे रोम रोम में वेच शाले पैगे ने पर तेरे पर उसे प्यारे महल लाड लड़ा हल्ले भी मैं तेरी गोड़ वेच गोद वेच खेड़ रहा है मैं होने ए नहीं इनकार कर दा प्यार के तू मेरी माँ या मेरे वास्ते हल्ले भी तू मेरी माँ या हल्ले भी मेरे वेच उन्ना ही प्यार या क बच्चे वांग � it's your nature that fire is supposed to burn skin. How can I complain about that? Tiri banai aagya, tu banai aag ke aag kisi no saar diya. Ta main ke bhi tu no kaidama ke aag mein no saar di kyo paya? How can I say to you and complain to you why is this fire burning and blistering my skin? You've made it that way, that is your nature, that is your will. So I'm still in love with you even though this fire is burning me because it's your nature. And you're not going to come outside of your nature. And I'm still embracing that. And I'm still saying, Tera ki ya mitha lag. Tu kitti ag, tu banai ag, tu kya ke ag ne saar na ya. Tera kitta hoya ya eh. So, whatever you did, you made it a good thing that I didn't want to do my hair, so why don't I come to my hair that I feel like I'm hurting my hair? How can I say that it's not sweet to me if it's your nature that has made fire to burn? It's all about... I read a line today by somebody called Stephen Covey and he wrote... The power and freedom that human beings have is that we can choose the way we respond internally to whatever is happening externally. Let's sing these words out. Oh, whatever you want to sing, Raj. You can sing these words again, you can sing whatever you want. Oh, everybody sing. Everybody. Sare Nigona.
Wahlegri Dika Kalsa, Wahlegri Diki Fate, Sasanga Ji joining me in this vlog as we travel from New York to Toronto, Canada for a Sikhi camp called Experience Sikhi. Along the way, we'll be answering the questions you asked me on my Instagram. Uh, we have boarded uh, the aircraft and uh, we should be taking off soon. Landed here in Toronto. A little chilly compared to New York. Uh, as we are uh, traveling to pick up our luggage, I'll uh, answer the very first question that came in. And these questions came in on my uh, personal Instagram page, so you can feel free to follow me there. Um, the first question is How do you maintain uh, trust uh, on our historical texts? You know. Um, and uh, I believe this question is referring to the different type of historical texts we have in the Sikh tradition. Uh, for example, Janam Sakhiyan, the Guru Badaas traditions, uh, Suraj Prakash. So these are different type of texts that most of our Sakhis uh, or um, historical narratives of the Guru's lives um, and even um, during the Missile period and so on and so forth are, are written down and recorded. You know, and oftentimes, you know, there's things within these texts that that when we look at it from today's angle, today's today's context, it, it doesn't always make sense. And so that's what the question is saying: How do you trust? You know, how do you always maintain sharda uh, and faith um, on the historical texts? Well, one thing that we have to understand is that when we're looking at these texts from a historical point of view, we should always maintain that the context it is written in, the environment it is written in is very important. You know, for example, in the Janam Sakhiya, there's a lot of uh, usage of myth involved. Yeah? And myth is used because it was very comfortably used at that time to provoke a message, to explain a concept. It was very commonly used. Whereas now, if someone uses myth, it's considered almost like you can't even use that anymore. Uh, it loses its uh, integrity, you know. But that was not the case uh, beforehand. Yeah. Um, from a historical point of view, uh, we need to understand that the context is, that is written is really important. Now from a Sikh point of view, Sharda and faith is also very important, you know. So as a Sikh, when we're looking at historical text and we're seeing that Gurus have had that, done X, Y and Z, you know, as a Sikh, we should be ready to believe that the Guru can do anything, you know. Uh, we should have that trust, we should have that faith that the Guru can do anything, you know. Anything's possible for the Guru. Um, why? Because for a Sikh, the Guru is everything to them. We got our bags. Why Guru Ji ka khalsa? Why Guru Ji ki fateh? Papa Isaji, chaldi kali maras. Aapdi aapdi thi kaji. Kirpa maras. Pan wadi aapira. It's 7 a.m. and uh, we're just about to head out to camp now. Uh, reached last night at the Singh's house, and we all sat together. It was a couple of us, um, and. Uh, uh, we have Prajadiks from the basics team there as well, like by Harman Singh Ji, uh, BB, Gurpreet Kaur, uh, Penji. So it was, it was really nice, uh, all got together, which is pretty rare for us. Uh, as Prajadiks, you know, everyone's usually a different part uh, uh, of the globe, you know. No, no one's really uh, all the way, all the time together. So that was really nice. Um, now we're just, you know, going to the car, packing our stuff in there and heading out to the campsite. The next question that came in is what is Pratibhim? And for this answer, I have a very special guest here from the basics team, Bhai Jaskaran Singh from Sikh Translations. Bhai Jaskaran Singh Ji, can you please explain what is Pratibhim? Wahguru Maharaj Kirpa. Pratibhim, if we look at, before we look at Pratibhim, we need, look, we need to look at Bimb. What is Bimb? Bimb is the object that's casting it. The Pratibhim is a reflection, or we can look at it as a, as a shadow as well. You, without the, the main thing, the independent source, right? 
Like if we look at something ca like the sun casting onto a lake, it's very important to have that sun. Without the sun, there will be no reflection. In the same way, Jinnivya has Srishti, all of this entire universe that we can sense through our five senses, it's cast by that one Vahiguru. This is like a mirage. That is what the Pratibhimb is. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful, thank you. If you guys haven't checked out uh, Baisevji's page, I really encourage it. They translate many, many different texts, historical, Gurbani texts as well. So please do check them out on sicktranslations.com. So, Sa Sangaji, we also have Pai Harman Singh Ji here. Sa Vaheguru Ji Fateh. Pai Sabji, are you excited for camp? Yeah. What are you the most uh, afraid of in camp? Chapalana Chori Gojan. Acha Ji. And what is your solution for that? Okay, so has do not steal on their chapala. So we are on the road by Jaskara Singh Ji is driving and it's like about three hour ride so I'm gonna just play a video here it's a uh, BB uh, BBG from Malaysia and oh no there's no signal it's not working uh, let me let me just try to uh, expand oh oh oh, oh wait oh oh Benji you're right there oh Benji it's great to have you in person I could just ask you what I wanted to ask you well yeah I want to ask you, Benji. I saw I'm watching your video about this Mohan Gursik. Why is it important to uh, talk about Gursiks? I think it's um, so Gurbani tells us a theory, but when you look at Itihas, when you look at Sakya of Gursiks, that's how we learn ki how, how they love Guru Maharaj, and now we too can walk on the same path and build a relationship with the Guru Sahib as well. Sometimes we don't believe that Guru Sahib is Hazar Nazar with us, and when we read their Sakya and see how Guru Sahib helped them and was with them and if a manchapur osa ajitaki that would help him for me as well why guru why guru beautiful benji can you tell us one fact about babaji's life the, the video that you just made can you please tell us the title of the video as well so the title of the video is 10 facts about baba sohan singh ji and one fact that i think it's important to know is um so babaji was really pro kavishri they love kavita and they baba sohan singh ji was the one who actually uh, funded the publication of Pai Nandalal Goya's Ghazla in Urdu and if you read the preface you will see their mention the name is mentioned in the preface alongside the Malaya Sangat as well who funded this publication so it's a very big saver Wai Guru, beautiful Benji, thank you so much Thank you so much Sangat Ji, <laughs> we, we are on the way to camp once we get there we'll, we'll definitely share uh, our adventures there and some uh, adventures on the way as well Wai Guru Sangaji, we made it to the campsite. And it's such a beautiful campsite it is. I'll give you a little tour. So, you see some campers all the way over there. We have a playground here. Here's the Fodja. And uh, all the campers, they're heading towards their cabins. And maybe they'll see this on, on the channel. <laughs> Let me show you guys uh, our cabins, where we'll be sleeping. Things over here, and these are the cabins. All right, so the next question: best advice for staying disciplined. Um, I really enjoy this question because it's discipline is something that you know, as a Sikh, you know, as a Pracharik, um, as a speaker, or as anything, you know, it's it's very essential to your to your daily tasks you know to whatever your motivation is to whatever your passion is discipline is what keeps you going forward discipline is like if you have a river right the river has a lot of power you know but the control of how that river moves and uh, it's 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 destined by the river banks you know in that way mariada or discipline is the river banks it's the river banks which keeps the river in, in, in flow it keeps the river going to the right place which is eventually leading it to the ocean you know and for that reason when, when we're talking about Sikhi we're talking about anything uh, 
the river banks is that discipline. The river itself is your prem, is your love for Guru Sahib. When that love is flowing, you need that discipline, you need that river banks to guide it to the ocean, the Guru. You need the ocean being the Guru Sahib. And one thing to to stay in discipline, to stay, uh, you know, to keep those river banks always active in your life, right? And so one thing that I, I found that helps me to stay disciplined is realizing the fruits of discipline, right? It's realizing what does staying disciplined give you, right? At the end of the day, it gives you your goal. I'll give you a simple, a simple example. Imagining you're learning how to uh, uh, shoot an arrow, you're doing archery. Now in archery, one thing that's really important is form. You have to maintain the same form every single shot. You have to maintain every time you, you pull the string, your hand has to come right at the same area you need to release. If you're releasing at different places at different times, then your arrow will be hitting different areas on the target. You know? For that reason, discipline there you know, is so important. You keeping your form, you know, you keeping your, your structure, and then eventually, months later, years later, you become a pro archer. You know, you can shoot your arrows right at the target that you want to hit, you know. Um, so, realizing the final goal, realizing what discipline will get you, uh, can, can help us stay disciplined. Looks like there's a, a game going on. I'm going to record these guys. What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like they're playing some kind of football game. We just won, guys. How was the basketball game? Jardi Kala 5 to 1. Kaltani. Wait, we played, we played against Kalta though. Kaltani Harda. Just for context, we just played a basketball game. That was a good, good match. Yeah. Uh, it was us versus by her missing team. And we won. Your right foot is right on the cup, so move your left foot. Okay. Uh, okay, you gotta be slower. Now, no, 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 put it, it was good. Okay, okay. Okay, your right foot, put it up really stride back. Um, oh, two by, two by, come back. Yeah, but drop, drop, drop. Now, left, be careful, put it straight up, just straight up. And uh, left, 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 more left, left. Yeah, drop, drop. Right foot up. Uh, drop. Left foot up. Uh, drop, drop. Oh yeah, it's still good. Right foot up. Uh, more to the right. And boom. You're right on the line. Left foot up. Uh, drop, drop. Uh, uh, right foot up. Uh, go more to the left. More to the left. More. Uh, uh, drop it, drop it, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Night time around 10 30 right now, and uh, we just finished all the programs for the day. Heading back to the cabin, we'll see you guys in the morning. It was a good day. All the 10 gurus have on Guru Nanak Devi, two Guru Gobis and Imam are present here. All we need is the eyes of Shraddha, the eyes of faith to see that. You know, they say that God is not far away from you. God is in the eyes of faith. If you carry those eyes, you'll see God everywhere. You'll see the Creator everywhere. It's uh, day two of the camp. Uh, so it's the first full day, as in you have the Amrit Vela today. Um, and uh, after Amrit Vela, there's, there's Katha. And after the Katha, there was a Katha translation of the Katha because the Katha was done in Punjabi and so uh, Das had translated it to English today um, so every day is a different speaker translating it uh, and now breakfast is done and uh, everyone's just kind of just changing getting ready for the workshops and I'm getting ready for mine as well um, I'm doing a workshop today on the merit of Vidya um, basically it's, it's a workshop on education infrastructures or institutions that the Guru has created so I'm looking forward to doing that and it will be recorded and be posted onto our new channel Exploring Sikhi 
so do check that out if you haven't checked that out already exploring sick is a new youtube channel um under everything's 13. all right sangaji i'm ready uh to give the workshop got my backpack got my laptop everything's good to go and oh i see by a beat sing he's by a beat sing ji why guruji ka khalsa why guruji ki fateh uh the sangat has a question what is your favorite pankti right now and why right now like right the second right the second <laughs> my favorite pankti is bad pratap suneo prabhu tumro kot agha tero naam hara why guru can you please elaborate what does it mean uh so bad pratap meaning like bad meaning a lot <laughs> pratap meaning like they just be like the radiance like the greatness uh suneo ke main sunya prabhu tumro oh god like i've heard of yours kot agha agha meaning like your pop kot agha tere khin ma hai why guru kot agha tero naam haran ke your name destroys crore hundreds of thousands of millions of pops of sins that i've done or sins that i've thought of doing so why? that's why that's my favorite one to right now why guru why guru thank you bhai sabji sangha ji we're uh, doing grounding me and paya peet singh ji okay. and uh, basically i I think it's a I enjoy it, you know. Uh I know my my bajurgs have always you know advocated for this type of a uh, uh exercise you can say or a type of lifestyle that uh, you know spend some time in the dirt, spend some time outside in the and the elements, you know. Uh in nature, uh it's really good for the mind, the body and soul. And uh at a campsite like this is It's easier to do it than being in New York City. Where like I was just telling you by a beat singer, we have like, you know, maybe five feet of dirt in my backyard, that's it. But here it's all lawns and lawns of beautiful look at these flowers and grass. workshop went great. Uh I really enjoyed it and I believe the students enjoyed it as well. And uh now there was just activities going on so uh so one high ropes which I did and then archery. So that was a lot of fun. Uh got per, you know, a bruised up a bit. But uh that's the best part of being in nature. Sangati uh we just finished uh Sukhasan and uh, the last evening program for the day Marji Mari Kirpanal they went beautiful um uh, Das had the workshop that went great and after that uh I couldn't catch you guys up to speed well I'll do it now um uh, we had a bunch of activities uh which was a lot of fun um and then after that uh on the, the evening program hoya si the evening program that us sahib aarti kirtan and so on and now just mar is going to baraj uh into their sukhasan sthan uh and uh so it's a very very beautiful um the whole parban the whole organization of of maraj i'm going to try to get uh, maraj coming in uh in on video as well
quiet and nice, um, especially in camp settings. It's a great time, great opportunity for one to reflect uh, on themselves. Um, I'm going to answer another question. And the question is, how do you manage ego while being admired on a public stage setting? Um, and this does apply, you know, uh, to to people uh, like myself who are prajatics or ragis or tardis, you know, um, because of the line of seva. Many times the sangat gives you their love, gives you the respect, you know, and we need to have, we need to have, or we should have such a a high uh, personal jivan where these these things you know can be directed directed straight to Guru Sahib, you know when the Sangat saying the Sangat saying you know Pai Sahib Ji like I love your Katha and in, in your mind right away you start thinking Goho Nanik Sab Teri Vade Aai Koi Nao Na Jaane Meera you know and this is this is a mental type of practice that Guru Sikhs would engage in um, trying to take all that energy that positivity that Sangat is giving it and going straight to the Guruji and being like Maharaj this is all yours you know I didn't do the Katha Aapji did the Katha I didn't do the Gitan you did the Gitan right? so in this way it's, it's always a mental thing so when Sangat is saying something you know out of love you know um, I try my best to to straight direct that to Guru Sahib um, as much as I can Maharaj Kirpa Karan and it's always my Ardas as well Okay, uh, and generally it's my last time, Maharaj. I don't know anything, you know. They, you're putting me on such a big stage to see large rakhlo, you know. That you see, you It was rainy yesterday, uh, periods of the day, which it didn't really, I think, affect our uh, environment here. We had such a great time, uh, but it's gonna be rainy today as well on day three. And uh, I think today's gonna be more heavy and uh, the whole day as is forecasted. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, looking forward to this day. Uh, I have a workshop plan. I'll be helping the Sangat uh, take a personal hukanama. Um So looking forward to today, and uh, hopefully I'll show you bits and pieces. Thanks, I know. Very poor cat. This is what we call the day. Good day, good day, good day. Good day, Jaya Satsri Akala The Sikhs came out uh, to perform a, uh, a old tradition of the Khalsa where they gave Langar or Prashad uh, to the ocean um, in respect of nature and we're going to witness that today I was just thinking about you guys and I was like, Dala, I think maybe they did it already. <laughs> no. Nah. Because we, we had the prime keys in London Hall and we're like, yo. <laughs> if if JST Shagri, why don't we just do it? Yeah, yeah. Haji, Haji. Yo, once, once we have the Haji? 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 Just heading back. Uh, to the cabin to grab my uh, laptop and stuff for the workshop that's about to go on um, so it's the same workshop that yesterday there will be a different group of, of uh, campers so looking forward to it and uh, that's pretty nice um, all the saints got together and showed a tradition of the Khalsa you know and uh, it's beautiful to see so many colors in the Pant you know so many different traditions and customs that Guru Kirpanal is being kept alive today. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Why, Guru? All the workshops for the day are done and uh, today was uh, one of the final full days tomorrow will be the final full day uh, 
and uh, basically last day of camp as well. Uh, and uh, now they're just that us has finished, uh, and Arti Arta and Kirtan is going on now. I'm just making my way to the bar. track of the camel days as, as things progress but it's the last full day and uh, we're heading to the, the bar right now it's pretty chilly morning the only thing I wasn't able to show you guys is more of the nighttime events it's just because my camera doesn't have infrared can't see at nighttime but what I'm gonna do is just answer one more question that the Sangha asked are the gurus God themselves or have a part of God in them yeah. so I think the stance of Gurumatis you know seems seems pretty clear to me for example Gur Sat Gur Par Brahm Kar Pooja Ho Nit Seva Ho Dinas Sab Rani you know where Mahara says look at the Guru look at Sat Guruji as Par Brahm Parmeshwar look at them as, as Parmeshwar Vai Guruji you know um, and there's there's so many more punktis like that you know uh, Siri Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj De Praman Ki Nihe Gaya Guru Arjan Pratakya Har Guru Arjan Dev Ji themselves is God you know and so for a Sikh I think there's there should there should be no question about it that the, for a Sikh you know Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj this is they are the form of Paramatma they are Vaigri Ji you know for a Sikh this should be the faith you know sick and with that eyes of sharda you get so much follow back i have here by gyansing gyansing do you feel cold i guess but even though it's cold it's the, the warmth of the sangat is enough you know to keep you going so it's, uh, i'm not minding it at all नाम जप लन माने जिंद मेरी वेले काम आएगा सुनारियदा तू ही है और कोई आसरा नहीं साठे पिता ने जहाज बनाया आजोगी ने पार लंगना साठे गुरा ने जहाज बनाया आजोगी ने पार लंगना I'm <laughs> sorry. 
करो जी सो जस्ट द फाइनल फ्यू मोमेंट्स बिफोर वी लीव कैंप इट्स ग्रेट डे ग्रेट फाइनल डे एंड इट वॉज अ ग्रेट कैंप ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर द कैंपर्स एंड एंड फॉर द प्रचारिक्स लाइक नाउ वी जस्ट गोइंग टू पैक अप क्लीन अप आवर कैबिन्स एंड हैड आउट इट्स प्रॉब गाइड बी टू डार्क फॉर मी टू रिकॉर्ड इन द कार सो आई थॉट जस्ट रिकॉर्ड नाउ एंड लेट यू गाइज नो that uh we're starting off for this vlog i hope you enjoy this one try my best to give you uh a variety of different prachadics here um and the sangat that was here try to try to my best to show you um everything that was going on so i really hope you enjoyed it please uh continue to subscribe follow us on our new channel as well exploring sikki um and uh if you wish to ask me questions for the future vlogs then please follow me on my instagram channel see you guys next time vai guruji ka khalsa vai guruji ki fate imagine someone doesn't know sikh at all someone's never heard of the sikh that i'm imagine explaining the sikh that i'm to him it's like the craziest movie plot ever <laughs> like just just think about it yeah mm. explain it to sikh someone has no idea and we've got the craziest characters that you can even imagine i watch i watch a lot of films i mean a lot a lot of films mm. like all of us we grew up watching movies watching <laughs> sitcoms everything hey, what's your favorite film there's couple there's one um, seven samurai oh yeah by akira kurosawa mm. Braveheart all-time favorite obviously most things love Braveheart mm. Last Samurai there's there's a couple mm. there's a couple but those are the ones that really stand out and mm. so after them is greater than any of those movies mm. it might not imagine coming and explaining to someone a part of our religion so we worship weapons mm. imagine a plot of a movie of this these are the characters the tribe they worship weapons every day they remember their martyrs two or three times a day and they do a prayer where they say the names of their martyrs and remember how they were martyred and they put pictures of their warriors who came before them in each one of their houses go to anyone's house any sex house yeah being if they're not practicing they always have a picture of a shaheed somewhere mm-hmm. in the house baba deep singh on a calendar or something every mm-hmm. sikh house has a picture of a martyr who came before them and died for our faith and way of life mm-hmm. we feed everyone we have a institution langar where we absolutely go out and feed anyone no questions asked anyone comes to us hungry we will feed them that's part that's part of this tribe this warrior casts taram mm-hmm. like look at bike and yeah in the middle of battle one of our warriors one of our gorsix would go out and feed the enemy mm-hmm. and give the enemy water we have our guru with us so we had we explained to the people we had 10 gurus in human form then we had one guru in shabad form mm-hmm. who we still communicate with and talk to every single day we take advice from on the daily and just imagine explaining all this to our taram to someone who'd never heard of sikki and explain it forget talking about the gurus the gurus are beyond contemplation just talking about people who followed on the path of sikki so we've got baba buddha ji former sikh known for their service and everything like that we've got baba biddi chand who's a master thief and gangster and he gave up his life of being the best thief possible to become a warrior saint and for the guru he went on missions and stole horses and by manj who save our goes across this world into other worlds we got the panj pyare to explain to someone who's never heard of sikh we have panj pyare who gave their heads for the guru and they passed the test by sacrificing themselves we've got baba deep singh mm. imagine telling someone about baba deep who's never heard of sikh and saying this is a warrior of ours who spent his whole life serving the guru then one day in battle he fought without his head with his head on the palm of his hand the battle of jumkor the greatest battle to ever take place will ever intergalactic whatever mm. the greatest battle where 1.8 million warlord bad boy toughest of the warriors mm. from all across the world from africa from the khyber pass from iran iraq from uh, mongolia they all came together at jumkor sahib to fight against our guru and 40 warriors mm. the greatest battle the battlefield where they said if each of them got a A, a, a handful of mitti and threw it towards the the kila they would bury the kila there were that many of them that many soldiers came to that battle the earth shook day turned to night because of the dust that rose 
from their horses, elephants, war dogs, oot, and all of that. There were that many battalions that they bol na pishaniye. And Suraj Prakash uh, Kavi Santok Singh writes that there's that many battalions in between themselves. They don't even understand the languages that are spoken. Mm. He speaks about dark warriors coming from the lands of Africa and everything. Mm. No one will believe these stories. No one will believe the stories of Sikhi if you tell them. It, mm. And we, we do tell them. And sometimes ourselves, our children find it difficult to believe. And other people, no way they're going to understand that there's a Taram on this earth like Sikhi. It doesn't compare compared to any other Taram, compared to any movie, any book, any script. Sikhi is on a whole different level. And then that's just a few of the worries. Not mentioning our mothers, Mata Gujri, who gave Shahidi in the Tanda Burj in Sarhand. She filled her grandchildren with strength to go forward. And in a kacheri, in a court where even the greatest kings will grovel on their knees and be intimidated. They walked into the middle of that court and Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh with Nishche, with absolute resolve, they said Fateh in that court. Uh, Bibya in Meer uh, Manu's jails. Hmm. Like, I don't even need to, that's, it's just crazy. Get into a comfortable position. Close your eyes if you can. Slow your breathing down. Just become aware of what your breath is doing and just have a nice, slow, deep breath in and a slow breath out. You'll notice that your mind might start thinking about something or it might get distracted. As soon as you realize that your mind is distracted, just allow that thought to disappear, bring your attention back to your breathing. Just become aware of slow, deep breaths in and slow, deep breaths out. And now as you're breathing in, Try to feel a sense of gratitude for your breath. Feel a sense of joy, delight, and realize what a privilege it is that there is breath coming into your body right now. Feel a sense of gratitude towards your body, where the breath is going in, into your lungs, into your body, to your heart, all your organs that are working, your arms, your legs, your hands, your feet, all these things that you have. Show a sense of gratitude within your mind for your body. And where is this breath coming from? This breath is coming from the environment. Show a sense of gratitude. Feel thankful towards that environment that's also giving you this breath. And the mantra, the easiest mantra that I want you to start with is the word thank you. Just repeat the word thank you as you're breathing in. Breathe in the word thank, breathe out the word you. Breathing in thank, breathing out you. And you'll notice that this meditation doesn't need to stop. You can open your eyes, and you can carry on this mantra of thank you. Try to do it for the next one hour or for the rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, breathing in thank, breathing out you. Such a simple technique is a great way to get you to start understanding how mantra are these wisdom words that we can use throughout your day to just change that mental story away from always wanting more and never being satisfied with life 
and starting to just be satisfied with each and every breath. I've never thought of myself as having a fear of flying, but sometimes when I'm sitting on a plane, I catch myself saying a little prayer just before takeoff. So if you're anything like me, then there's something you need to know. You don't have a fear of flying. What you really have is a fear of dying. And with higher wisdom, you can overcome that fear. Higher wisdom teaches us to distinguish our fears from reality. Because fear is just a false event appearing real. It's a story in our mind that we tell ourselves. When we worry about flying, the reality is that flying is one of the safest modes of transport. But our fear tells us that it's extremely dangerous. If we're experiencing turbulence on a plane, our fear starts imagining the worst and it makes us panic about a disaster that hasn't happened, isn't happening now, and may never happen. Once you realize that your fears are just thoughts in your mind, then you can start to see through them. You can choose not to believe them anymore because all they do is cause you to feel powerless and vulnerable. So the next time you feel anxious about flying, I want you to give yourself permission to let go of your fears. Think of them like the clouds that are floating past your window. Don't hold on to your fear and let it float away as well. But before you let go of it, there's one more lesson that we should learn. When we feel fear, it's our mind's way of showing us what attachments we still have, what things we're not ready to let go of just yet. And the things that we want to hold on to the most is our own life and the life of our loved ones. So this fear of flying is a great reminder that we have yet to accept our own death. When you use your higher wisdom, you understand that death is not something that you can avoid. It will happen to everyone and it can happen at any time. And we all need to embrace this inevitable reality and not be afraid of it. So if you don't like feeling scared, and want to overcome your fear. Practice every day to be more comfortable with letting go of life. Because you can only be truly free from your fears when you're free from yourself. To learn some of the practices that you can use to overcome your fears, watch this video next. ਸਸਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਤੇ ਰਸਾਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਲਾਈਵ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਤੇ ਜਰੂਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਬਾਈ ਲਿਖਣਾ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਚ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਆ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਚ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਟਾਰੋ ਦੀ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਫੋਰ 3600 ਸਿੱਧੂ ਮੂਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਨਾਟ 11 ਵਰਗਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਮੈਸੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਆ ਆ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਬੱਸਾਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਸਾਲ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਗਏ ਆ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਆ ਸਾਲ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਗਏ ਆਪਾਂ ਆ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਮੌਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਸਾਲ ਫੋਰਟ ਐਕਟਰ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ 
ਤਿਆਰੀਆਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਰਸਾਲ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਟੂਡੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਪਈ ਆ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦੀ ਆਰੀ 1:30 ਵਜੇ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਆਪਣਾ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਸੇਵਾਦਾਰ ਖੜੇ ਨੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਤਿਆਰ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤਰਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਦਾ ਟਰਾਲਾ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਲਸਾਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੌਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਪੂਰੇ ਨਵਗਰਤਨ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਲਈ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕਣ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ
पालकी साहेब पाहिजे तुम्ही चारों तरफ लंगर की सेवा पीजा बर्फी सब सेवा लगी हुई है इतने लसाल गुरुद्वारे तुम देख सकते हो मेरे नाल हूँ ट्रियाल ਉਹ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਦੀ ਤਿਆਰੀਆਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਘੁਮਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਲਸਾਲ ਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਆ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਦੀ ਮੋਡਲਿੰਗ ਤੱਕ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਕਰਾਈ ਆ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਟਾਇਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਾਲੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਨੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਲਾਲ ਨੂੰ ਲਾਲ ਕਰ ਇਸ ਵਾਰੀ ਔਰ 3600 ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਦੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਆਪਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਦਿਖਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਚੱਲੋ ਤੇ ਆ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਪਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਦੱਸਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਓਟਟੀ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਫੋਰ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਫੋਰ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਓਟਟੀ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਨੰਬਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਯੂਬੀਸੀ ਆਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਦਾ ਆ ਇਹ ਦੱਬਾ ਤੂੰ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦਿਖਾ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਗੱਡੀ ਦੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਫੋਨ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਸਟੋਰੇਜ ਫੁੱਲ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਬਣਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਐਡਿਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਚ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਫੋਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਜੇ ਫੋਨ ਨਵਾਂ ਲਿਆ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਕੱਢ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੰਗ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਜ਼ੋਰਦਾਰ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਪਈ ਆ ਆੜੇ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਟੂਰਿਸਟ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਸੀਗੇ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਸੀ ਲੋਕ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੋਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਸੇਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਆ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਦੀਪ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਸਾਡੀ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਹੀ ਕੋਡ ਆਪਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਿਮੋ ਨੂੰ ਐਵੇਂ ਦੀ ਲੰਮੀਆਂ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਲਣਗੀਆਂ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਟਰ
ਫੀਲ ਆ ਜਾ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਮੂਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਨਾਟ 11 ਵਰਗਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਮੈਸੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੂਗਾ ਆ ਨਿਗੇ ਨਿਗੇ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਗੱਤਕਾ ਖੇਲਣਗੇ ਉਹ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਕੀ ਹਾਲ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਵਾਈਬਰੂ ਜੀ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਆਉਣ ਗਈਆਂ ਅਜੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਨੇ ਛੋਟਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਬਣਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਫੋਰ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਟਾਇਰ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਛੋੜੇ ਛੋੜੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਫੋਰ 3600 ਆ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਸਾਰਾ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਫੋਰ 3600 ਆ ਐਦਾਂ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੋਰ 3600 ਕਾਇਆ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਇਮ ਕਰਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਟਰੈਕਟਰ ਦੀ ਮਾਡਲਿੰਗ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਆ ਨੰਬਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਨੰਬਰ ਦੇਖੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਰਚ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਭਾਈ ਟਾਇਰ ਦੇਖੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਟਾਇਰ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਦਿਖਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਝੰਡੇ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਡਰੋਨ ਵੀ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਕੈਮਰੇ ਦੇਖ ਲੈਣੇ ਬਟ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆ ਬਟ ਮੇਨ ਡਰੋਨ ਤੋਂ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਦੀ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਬੱਦਲ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤ ਲੱਗ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਮੌਸਮ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸੁਹਾਣਾ ਆ ਸੰਗਤ ਆ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਜਾਮ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਪਰ ਸੇਵਾਦਾਰ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਕੱਢ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਲਸਾਲ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਮੌਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਟਰਾਲਾ ਟਰਾਲਾ ਪੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਮਿੱਤਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਆ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੰਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਲੋਕ ਸਿਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਆ ਗਏ ਆ ਉਹ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਪੋਸਟ ਡਾਕ ਖਾਨਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਵੇਂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਮੌਸਮ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸੁਹਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਗੇ ਬਾਰਿਸ਼ ਦਿਨ ਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਬਟ ਅੱਜ ਦੇਖੋ ਮੌਸਮ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਸੁਹਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੈ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਲੱਗ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਦੇਖੋ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਘਰ ਕੋ ਦੇਖੋ ਰੈਂਟ ਤੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਲੋਕ ਦਾ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸਹਿਣਾ ਇੱਧਰ ਵਾਸੇ ਆ ਉਸ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਖੋ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਹੀ ਕਿਤਾ ਨੇ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹਰ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਹਰ ਮੋੜ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੇਖਣ ਮਿਲੇਗੀ ਇਹ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦਾ ਰੂਲਸ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਰਗੂ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਗੱਡੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਕੀ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਮਾਰਨੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਦੇਖੋ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਟਾਰ ਜੋ ਦੀ ਗੱਡੀ ਆ ਫਰੰਟ ਫੋਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਹੈ 
ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪੁਲਿਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਦੇਖਣ ਮਿਲ ਗਿਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਰੋਲ ਹੀ ਇਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਰੋਲ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਟ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਰੂਲਸ ਨੇ ਐਡੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾੜੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਭਰਪੂਰ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਡੇਢ ਲੱਖ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਨਾਲ ਅਦਰ ਕੋ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਸਾਈਕਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਵੇਖ ਲੋ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਈਕਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਘੁੰਮਣਾ ਆ ਸਾਈਕਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਰਿਵੋਲਵਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਤਾਲੇ ਤੇ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਗੀਆਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾਨੇ ਆ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਖੋਲਾਂਗੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਨੂੰ ਧਰਾਂਗੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਦਿਖਾਣੇ ਸਦਾ ਪਾਲਕੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਸੰਦਾ ਤੇ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਇਕੱਠ 1.5 ਲੱਖ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਰ ਜਲੇ ਆ ਪਾਲਕੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਦੇਖ ਲਈ 
ਇਹਨੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿਰਤਨ ਲੱਗੇ ਲੱਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗਾਣੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਤੇ ਲਗਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਬਾਬੇ ਜੋਗਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਦੇ ਲੱਗਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਲੱਗਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਰਤੂਤਾਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦੇ ਬਾਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਲਾਏ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਜੋ ਚਲੋ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੋ ਆਪਣੇ ਇਧਰ ਗਾਣ ਲੱਗਣਗੇ ਬਟ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਕੀਰ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗਾਣੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਲਾਣੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਤੁੱਕ ਬੰਦਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦੱਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆ ਗਾਣੇ ਲੱਗਾ ਇਹ ਮੂਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਲੱਗਾ ਹੈ ਤੁੱਕ ਬੰਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਚੱਪਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੋਮ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਬਟ ਦੇਖੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਦਾ ਆ ਮੂਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਲਾਇਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਾਈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਐਵੇਂ ਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਿ ਬਾਬੇ ਦਾ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਇੱਥੇ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਦਾ ਸੌਂਗ ਗਾਣਾ ਮੰਨਦਾ ਬਾਈ ਪਰ ਪਰ ਇਦਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਆ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਰੋਲਾ ਰੱਪਾ ਇਹੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਗਾਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਇਹੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਗਾਣੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲਾਓ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਲਾਓ ਆਪਣਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪੋ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਦੀਆਂ ਪਈਆਂ ਇਹ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਤੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਲਾਏ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਗਾਣੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੱਗ ਰਹੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਪਰ ਗਾਣੇ ਲੱਗਣੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੋਚ ਇਹ ਆ ਬਾਕੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸੋਚ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਣ ਲਈ ਇੱਥੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਲਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੌਂਟਰੀਅਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਨਗਰ ਹੈ ਨਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਾ ਚੰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ
ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਅਗਾ ਬਿੰਦਸਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਤੇ ਬਿੰਦਸਰ ਰਿਵਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਇਹ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦਾ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦੇਖਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੀ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਹੈ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ
वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहगुरु जी की फतेह वेलकम टू फॉर एवर देसी यूट्यूब चैनल तो नवी वीडियो बहुत बहुत ज़्यादा स्वागत है अज की वीडियो जी बहुत ज़्यादा खास होने वाली है क्योंकि अज सा शहर विंडजर अंटारीओ नगर कीर्तन निकल जा रहा वा तो सारे जिन्हें भी नगर निवासी है सारे बहुत ज़्यादा खुशी आ क्योंकि ये नगर कीर्तन चार साल बाद निकल वाला लास्ट टाइम दो हज़ार उन्नी निकलिया उस तो बाद कोविड आ गया तो पोस्टपोन हों हूँ चार साल लग गए सो अज असी नगर कीर्तन जा रहे हैं असी कि सारा मतलब विंडजर ही इट्ठा हो रहा वा बहुत खुशी आ बने रहे वीडियो असी जिनी कोशिश करा कि तू सारा कुछ दिखा सकी सारे ही मतलब सारे एस्पैक्ट कवर कर सकी ठीक है जी दोस्तों उस स्पॉट पर आ गए हैं जहाँ से नगर कीर्तन स्टार्ट होना है ये हमारे शहर के मतलब डाउनटाउन में एरिया है सो so, अब आपको एक क्योंकि तो रिवर साइड डाउनटाउन हमारा रिवर साइड पर है और वहाँ आपको एक बड़ी चीज़ दिखाते हैं ये गाय शिप देखो आपको नज़दीक जाकर दिखाता हूँ मैं शिप ये हमारे यहाँ पर पहली बार ही आया पहले तो मैंने कभी देखा नहीं यहाँ इधर काफी बड़ा आई थिंक ये कोई प्राइवेट कंपनी से है ये देखो ये कितने मंजिल एक दो तीन चार पाँच छः छः फ्लोर हैं गाइस इनके नीचे से लेकर ऊपर तक छः फ्लोर हैं अब आपको लेकर चलते हैं उधर साइड पर उधर है हमारा नगर कीर्तन स्टार्ट होगा स्टार्ट होगा वहाँ से और फिर वहीं जाकर घूमकर सारे शहर में वहीं आकर समाप्त हो जाएगा ये रिवर साइड मैंने आपको पहले भी दिखाई है लेकिन तब इतनी खूबसूरत नहीं लग रही थी आज काफ़ी यहाँ पर रौनक है रस्सियों से बांधा है देखो रस्सियां देख लो इस मोटी मोटी रस्सियों से बांधा है हाँ जी विरो लोकेशन तो लै आता है पंज प्यारे तैयार ने गुरु की पालकी तैयार है ते
ਸਾਸਰੀਆਂ ਕਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਅੱਜ ਮੰਨੋ ਜੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਤ ਵਾਪਤੇ ਕੋ ਬੜਾ ਲਾ ਜੋ ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਪੈਨ ਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਮੱਕੀ ਦੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਆ ਸਰਸੋਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਗ ਲੰਗਰ ਲੱਗਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਕੰਮ ਘੈਂਟ ਆ ਲੰਗਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਲੱਗੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਥੋੜਾ ਸਾਈਡ ਤੇ ਆਵਾਂਗੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਛਕਣ ਦਾ ਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਆ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਜੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਟਾਲ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸਟਾਲ ਲੱਗੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਹੁਣ ਇਕੱਲਾ ਇਕੱਲਾ ਸਟਾਲ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸ ਸਕਦਾ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਹੀ ਲਓ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਲੰਬੀ ਲਾਈਨ ਆ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਭੀੜ ਭੜਕਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਆਰਾਮ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖਾਓ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਡਾ ਚੱਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਤਲਬ ਘੈਂਟ ਪ੍ਰਬੰਧ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਰੌਣਕ ਹੈ ਦੋਸਤੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਿਆਦੀ ਰੌਣਕ ਆ ਇਹ ਵੈਗਰੂ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਵਾਲੇ ਚੇਬੀ ਕੱਢੇ ਪਏ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ 4 ਸਾਲ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੋਇਆ ਵਾ ਤੇ ਪੂਰਾ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਵਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਾਂ ਤੁਰ ਪਏ ਆ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਵਾਲੇ ਬੰਨੇ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਸੰਗਤ ਸਾਰੀ ਤੁਰ ਪਈ ਆ ਤੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਚ ਘੁੰਮ ਗਏ ਡਾਊਨਟਾਊਨ ਚ ਫੇਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਆਉਣਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਲੱਗੇ ਆ ਤੁਰੀ ਜਾ ਤੁਰੀ ਜਾ ਅੱਗੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਮਿੱਤਰੋ ਲੰਬੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਣੀ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਚੱਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਵੇਖੋ ਪੀਟਰ ਬੈਲਟ ਹੀ ਅੱਟ ਦਾ
ਵੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪਾਣੀ ਤਰੋਂਗ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪਾਣੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਟੈਂਕਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਸਾਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦੀ ਖੱਬੇ ਬੰਨੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਇਧਰੋਂ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਸਾਰੀ ਡਿਵਰਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਪਈ ਆ ਸਾਰੀ ਟ੍ਰੈਫਿਕ ਉਧਰ ਹੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਬੰਨੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਖਲੋਤੀ ਆ ਬੱਚੇ ਗੱਟਕਾਂ ਖੇਡ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਫੇਰ ਮੋੜ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਧਰ
नगर कीर्तन जा रहे हैं पार्किंग वाल डाउन टाउन के पार्किंग की ग्डी बहुत ज़्यादा थक गए यार बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब लिटरली मैं फ्लैट शूज पाए थी फ्लैट जुत्ती जी होंगी है तो लिटरली मेरा दर्द निकलना पी पैरों चो बहुत ज़्यादा टायर्ड हो गया बट सीरीयसली बहुत मज़ा आ रहा बाकी मैं तुम घर आगे दस दा कि सारा हिसाब तब रहा ठीक है जी देखो हाँ डाउन टाउन छोटा जहा डाउन टाउन है तो छोटा जहा शहर है बट शहर के हिसाब न बहुत ज्यादा संगत आई सो हाँ जी फाइनली नगर कीर्तन तो घर वापस आ गए हैं तो बहुत ज़्यादा थक चुके हैं तो नगर कीर्तन बहुत वीया बहुत पा भारी रश से संगत का क्योंकि तुम मैं दसा कि इन्ने सर इन्ने चर बाद होया तो काफ़ी मज़ा आया तो नगर कीर्तन होना चाहिए रेगूलर होना चाहिए हर साल होना चाहिए क्योंकि एक तो होंगे ना कि बंद का पता लगता तो जे खासकर जे नगर कीर्तन फॉरन कंट्रीज़ होंगे वो बहुत ज़्यादा महत्ता रखते हैं क्योंकि उत्तर गोरे होंगे काले होंगे पता लगता कि यार एक कम्यूनिटी इतने रह रही है एक कम्यूनिटी एग्जिस्ट कर दी है क्योंकि नगर कीर्तन अच्छे डाउन टाउन के लंघिया तो सारे उत्तर गोरे वेंदे कि कोई है ना कोई व्डा फैसटिवल है गोरे आए उ बड़े मतलब हैरान कि यार फ्री फूड है ना फ्री पीजे मनचूरीयन मतलब वन समाने लंगर भाई लंगर वाली तो वट कड़ते भाई आप कह दें भी नहीं स्टूडेंट नक्सपलॉयट करते पुराने सिटीजन जे आ वो आ पर भाई लंगर भी पुराने सिटीजन ही लाने नेरी लिया लंगर वाली इन्ह ने साडे विंजर के बिजनेसमैन ने ली भी हैड्स ऑफ है बंद ठीक है ना मतलब घट्टो घट्ट भी भी पच्ची स्टॉल लगे लंगर के बाकी वजी हर साल हो गए नगर कीर्तन कम्यूनिटी का पता लगता वा तो पता लगता कि मतलब इतने कोई बंद वसद है सिख वसद सिंह वसद है ठीक है पगा वाले जो हारले डेविडसन मोटरसाइकिल तो अगे मतलब बहुत सोहना सी बहुत सोहना बाकी यही कि आप कोई उत्तर कोई शक्ति प्रदर्शन कर रहे होंगे नगर कीर्तन मतलब होंगे कि अपनी कम्यूनिटी का दसना इस करके एक जो नगर कीर्तन शुरू हुए चलो मैं कोई विद्वान नहीं मैं बहुत ज्यादा हिस्टरी जानना नहीं चाहता कि नगर कीर्तन क्यों शुरू हुए थी एनी हाउ बहुत मज़ा आया सो इस भीडियो मैं बहुत ज्यादा गल नहीं की तुम्हें मोस्टली विखाया ही है ज़्यादा आला दुआला क्योंकि शोर बड़ा जमें बोलता ही कुछ जब तुम समझ सुनना नहीं सो ए सी आई वीडियो आप इतने खत्म कर दें प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर कमेंट तो सबसक्राइब जरूर कर लो तो मिलते हैं किसी अगली वीडियो वाहगुरू जी का खालसा वाहगुरू जी की फतेह I have a lot of memories from when I was a child. One that's always stuck out to me though was when I was about 10 years old and I was in school and I struggled. And I, I didn't struggle with English, math or science. I struggled holding still. And I would try to listen and focus and process ideas, but I couldn't help myself. And then to be honest, I would sit there and then I would just start tapping and the students in the class would look at me and they'd say, "Hey, stop tapping." A lot of the time I didn't even realize I was doing it. And then eventually even the teachers got after me and they would yell at me and they'd say, "Clint, you have to stop tapping." It got so bad that I got sent to the principal's office for tapping. And he said to me, "Can maybe when you go back to class, just try sitting on your hands." And so I did. I went back to class and when I felt myself starting to tap, I just I did this. I sat on my hands. And that worked for about 5 seconds. One time I was tapping in class and my teacher Mr. Jensen he looked at me and he yelled and he said Clint stay after class and I thought to myself this is it I am done Now I've always been the type of person that believes that a single moment in time can change a person's life and this was one of those moments for me and I will never forget it And so I was sitting there with Mr. Jensen and an empty classroom He walked past me and he sat next to his desk and he said, "Clint, come here. I want to talk to you." And as he looked me right in the eye, he said, "Now I need you to know something. You're not in trouble, but I do have just one question that I have to ask you." And he asked.
asked, he said, have you ever thought about playing the drums? And in that moment, Mr. Jensen, he leaned back and he opened the top drawer of his desk. And he reached in and he pulled out my very first pair of drumsticks. And he held them in his hands and he looked at me and he said, hey, Clint, you're not a problem. I think you're a drummer. And from that moment on, I've never put those sticks down. I've toured, recorded, and played drums all over the world. My whole college education was paid for with drumsticks in my hand. Just because of a single moment in time, when somebody believed in me, and he saw something in me that I didn't even see within myself. And from that moment, I learned that there's a difference between being the best in the world and being the best for the world. Darf ich dich kurz stören? Ich würde mir gerne mal deine Eimer leihen, wäre das möglich? Mein Eimer? Ja, ein bisschen drauf spielen. Spielen mit meinem Eimer. Ja. Ein bisschen Musik machen. Cool, danke. Nicht schlecht. Ja? Probieren wir noch mal was anderes. Some usual day, everything seems okay. Lights in the mirror are perfect for work. Your headphones are like a shield to the silence. But what would be if you were taking it up? Oh, oh, another chance to change is gone. There will be new ones, but first you have to find them. This is the day. Don't look away from the wings of humanity today. Cause this life, 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 life is too short to waste a chance Every evening you're watching TV, there's another misery Only pictures and numbers you see, if you don't mind Like every day, close your eyes and go to bed what would be if you were taking it in? Oh, 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 another chance to change the song. There will be new ones, but first you have to find them. This is the day, but don't look away from the wings of humanity today. Cause this life, 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 life is too short to wait a chance. Danke für den Eimer. Schönen Tag dir noch.